Don't you hate it when you do a Google image search and you come across the one on the left with watermarks on it? I'm seeing this more and more on the internet and it's really frustrating. You just want to use an image for one reason or another and it's just plastered with stupid watermarks. Well, the one on the left is the one with the watermarks and the one on the right, believe it or not, was corrected by a computer, by AI, very quickly. And you can do it too, and I'm gonna show you how. First, let me get these off the screen. So we could turn that image on the left to the image on the right. Uh, I found this on Hacker News. They, the title was AI Powered Watermark Removal Poses Uncomfortable Implications for Content Use. No, it fucking doesn't, dude. These articles are written as if this is copyright infringement. You're stealing other people's material. And that really tightens my fucking jaws, dude. Because people are forgetting the spirit of the internet, which is the free dissemination of information. And then, you know, what happened is all these companies and commercial bitches got onto the internet and started trying to charge money for things that have always been free. Now, I could go pretty deep into the subject, but I'm going to keep this a pretty relatively short uh, video. But if you watch the Windows 95... Yes, Windows 95 launch video with Jay Leno. In that video, you can see a guy on a website drag and drop a picture onto his desktop. And everybody clapped. Why? Because that's taking an image from the internet and putting it on your computer and owning it. Nobody gave a shit about ownership and, and copyright and watermarks and shit. In fact, in this very Hacker News post, my favorite comment is right here from this guy seven hours ago. Uh, photographers often think way too high of themselves. Yes, you captured the Grand Canyon in a beautiful way, but it's mainly because the canyon is beautiful, not because you were that good. And that's exactly, even though somebody replied, this gave me a laugh, thanks. Perfect satire of Tech's attitude towards creative work. So, yeah, I, I never respected photography in that way, like, oh, put a watch. Because the Zapruder film, JFK getting assassinated, that's one of the most viewed videos on the internet. And it doesn't have a watermark. I am so sick of watermarks, dude. So here's how you get rid of it. There's a water, I'll post this in the, um, in the comments. This is water, watermarkremover.io is the website. Now it looks pretty commercial, this website. It is free for now. I don't know how long that will last. Hopefully we'll get some free and open source, um, software where we can run this crap ourselves and don't need a website here to do it. But I'm kind of glad this exists. So just in case you don't know, um, you've been able to do this for a long time. You've just had to use like Adobe Photoshop and it takes a lot of time. Now it's really easy. It says you can just drag and drop a picture. So here's the picture right here on my hard drive. And as you can see, it's the one with watermarks. I'm going to drag and drop it right now. Or you could just hit the upload image. All right, it's uploading. That's one I did earlier. Okay, it's uploading the image. Processing image, please wait. Okay, so on the left you can see is the old one and the one on the right slightly, eh, it's not that great, you see that? There's still some crap left over. So let me instead uh, upload one that I actually fixed myself. So I actually made a fixed version right here. As you can see, I took a couple out. They're not that great. Actually, you know what? I'm going to, let's see. I think it's, is it this one? No, wait, is it this one? Yeah, I think it's that one, yeah. Okay, so you'll see that the two versions we have is one with the watermark on the bottom that says, age photo stock or whatever and then the one I edited sometime later where I only took out the age photo stock thing I think either that or I don't remember how this exactly happened so the only difference between the two is one has the age photo stock thing oh I just chopped it oh you can see I just chopped the neck off there okay so let's use that one instead and see let's drag and drop the edited one in I did that in Photoshop or some image you know you can do that anywhere and I think it helps it and actually makes it better. See that? Now we don't have it on the forehead anymore and shit because it has to do less work. So it's not exactly perfect, but it's better than nothing. 
I mean, the one right now on the right looks pretty damn good, you know? Um, the comparison on the nose, see how it's kind of gone? You can still kind of see an outline a little bit, but when you look at the image overall, it's hard to make out unless you're really looking. So it's actually not bad. And here's what you could do with the finished image. So let's download this image if I can do that. Oh, I guess I already have it downloaded. All right, so I'm gonna show you a second website that you can do. Now, if you look at this picture here, there's a background. And let's say I only want the head and you know the body, the foreground photo, and I wanna take the background out and make it transparent. There's another website uh, called remove.bg. Remove background image or remove image background. And that's another thing you could do, which is kind of useful. So let's take that image that's been modified. Let's see if it looks like right here. No. Here it is. Here's the modified version that took the watermarks out. And we will drag and drop that. And all right, you see that? It took the background out. Pretty damn good, too, as you can see by the ear. It even got between the ear there it took the background out which is kind of hard to do so now you got a transparent image so when you're loading it up here in like OBS for instance you can uh, you could put it on the screen like this and as you can see it's actually transparent isn't that cool we could take this background out so you can see yeah transparent so those are two easy websites uh, that you know help you do some quick image editing and get rid of those stupid watermarks when you do a Google search. It even got rid of Getty Images uh, watermark for me. I, I just learned about this today. I've only used it on a couple of photos. But this one actually had a Getty Images, a pretty big Getty Images thing here by his shoulder or by his neck. And it's not the, like I said, it's not 100% perfect. But, it, you know, for free, just drag and drop, takes a couple seconds, that's pretty damn good to me. So I'm going to use these websites more and more, because I can't fucking stand watermarks. In fact, I think somebody else put it pretty eloquently here on Twitter today, or the other day, 24th. This guy, Eldon Lord James, says, Watermarks are worthless, serve no purpose, and make your work less valuable. The tools to violate your stupid watermark only get stronger every day. Create work that speaks for itself and causes consumers to demand to know its source. Because even if, even if you release something and it spreads around, people who are really interested in your work will find out who you are, even if there isn't a watermark. That's just the way humans are. They go and look for, there's ways to look for sources. One of them is called Tin Eye. Right here, reverse image shirts. You could drop an image here and you can kind of find other sources. And you can actually find out who the author is or who the photographer is or whatever. This is one of many ways. So who cares about stupid watermarks? It ruins shit. Now, thankfully, people don't put watermarks on music. Imagine if you download an album and there's a fucking uh, sound effect in the background just to know who owns it. What the fuck is that shit? You know, same thing with movies. People who release full movies on the internet... Like, uh, here's Son-in-Law from 1993 with Pauly Shore. Let's jump. There's no watermarks on it. No. See that? You don't want watermarks on material, period, ever. It just shits all over the work, and it just makes things worse. We know other people own stuff. We know you took the picture. Who cares? Get your watermarks out of our life. They don't belong on the internet. So there's two ways on how to improve the image, and I will post them again in the comments section. I will pin it. Take care. Bye.